Steve Bowers and Cassandra Fuller. Welcome you to Six in the City. We're down trying to paint today. We are. I'm glad to see you in right. pink. For Breast cancer awareness, that's all right. that good stuff going that's on this right. month. Lane Homecoming is this weekend. The parade will be on E plus TV that's six. Right. E plus TV6.com, so we'll or you can stream it. And on. we're also carrying Lane football during the week. Yes, we are. On, on repeats. And so we have Tuskegee and Lane on, on this week. So we look forward to all that. In Meanwhile, addition, we have a jam packed show today. We do. The studio is full. We're going to be talking with Mary Spelling. She's with Art in the Village. They're celebrating their 15th, 15th anniversary. anniversary. Didn't know that. I know. So we're going to find out what they're going to have going on on October the 19th. Melinda Reed is here. She also has with her Braylon Ellis. They are both from Lifeline Blood Services. Okay. There's oh, it's October. It is. Vein you drain. know what that means. Vein drain. Vein okay, drain. here we go. Beth Ann Simpson is here. She is the with downtown development, Jackson Downtown Development. She got a long list of things like Halloween at the market. We oh, got is yoga. That right? oh, we got okay. food truck Friday, the cleanup day. So we're gonna find out when all, all right. those things are going all on. Right. Nathan Joanne is here. He's principal of St. Mary's School. Yeah, they got a big event coming They do up. have a big event, Oktoberfest, Oktoberfest coming up right around the corner. Margaret Taylor is here. She is with, she's the president of Jackson Area Business and Professional Women's. It's time for their ghost walking tour and dinner. Coming up Friday, October the 25th. And then Frank and Sherry Fairley are here with Fairley Wealth Management Group. Right. We're gonna find out how they run their successful company. And, and Sherry, Sherry Fairley is also going to be our entertainment today. She is, Special she's gonna be singing with, with us today. All all this with Moats Jones and Company. Glad to have them back right. with us. Sure are. On this Six, Six in, in the, the City. city. I'm Mark Taylor. I'm the owner of Renew Biomedical Services based out of here in Jackson, Tennessee. We're a provider of uh, biomedical services for medical professionals. At Renew Biomedical, our use of telecom is of utmost importance. We have to reach our customers in a timely fashion so we can diagnose and service their equipment needs. So e Broadband allows Renew Biomedical to connect effectively with our customers in whichever way they choose, via email, phone, Skype, teleconferencing, and any way you can imagine. Every child follows a path in life. For many, that path will lead them to a door, a door that gives them a place to grow, to learn, to belong, a place to forge their future. Because while many doors open, these doors transform. They did for us. Support your local boys and girls clubs. Great futures start here. Honey, what I think you need is a socket wrench. I played JV basketball. I'm sorry. I don't think it looks right. This is good, and it's all is good, it, baby. Is it really all good? If you love me enough to routinely test your handyman skills, not to mention the strength of your marriage, then of course you'll visit nhtsa.gov slash the right seat to make sure I'm in the right car seat. I'm going to call my dad. Well, hundreds of thousands of people visit the Casey Jones Village every year here in they Jackson, sure Tennessee. Do. It's, it's going to be the place to be this coming Saturday. Yes, it is. This coming Saturday, the 19th, amidst all the activities out there, there's going to be the 15th anniversary of Arts in the Village. And the person who's responsible for all that is right here with us, Mary right. Spelling. It's good to see you. Well, it's good to be here. I you know that's not going to work. That Art in the Village thing is not going to work. <laughs> you don't think so? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's who, what he told you 15, 15 years ago. Idea. <laughs> 15 years here, alive and well and kicking. Well, you know, it's just by God's grace that we're there. And that's the truth, Steve, because um, our mission is to share the love of Christ through the creative arts. Mm -hmm. And if the Lord wasn't behind us, we wouldn't the be Lord there, be I can there, tell right. you. Well, so we got a big day. It starts at 9 o'clock Saturday morning, uh -huh. 9 to 4. Right? Uh -huh. Something uh, so what, like that. What's going to be happening? Um, we got a lot of fun stuff happening. We want everybody to come out there that day. Um, in front of the gallery, we'll have children's activities and... Uh, we'll have a photo booth with professional photographers that'll make people's pictures and where they can download them. Everything's free. Oh, wow. I know we're going to be doing a thing where, where we'll let kids paint a pumpkin mm -hmm. or paint rocks. Uh, okay. We're going to have a community wall where people can, it's a wishing wall so that you can write your wish on a piece okay. of paper and <clears throat> insert it into this painting that we've got there. And it will make part of the painting. The color of the pieces of paper will make part of the painting. Okay. So that's nice. going to be fun. That'll be fun. And um, also, we're going to have one booth where there will be original art in there by our members, and it's totally for Helene Relief. 
Okay. Every dime of anything that's sold, sold in, in that, that booth, booth that day will go to Helene Relief. Okay. So um, just lots of fun stuff going on. In the gallery, we'll have stuff at a 15% discount that day, that day. Okay. any sale over $100. So, um, and several of our artists will have their work set up in booths, and many will be demonstrating. We'll have a wood turner that's turning wood and potters making pots, painters doing their thing. We'll have a calligrapher at work and jewelry oh, wow. maker. So it'll be okay. a lot of all fun of and all free. On. Okay. And, and, and most of the stuff that they're doing is going to be for sale? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we just invite everybody. It's our, we wanted this to be, you know, we thought about how to celebrate our anniversary. And we wanted this to be our gift to the community. And to me, art and creativity is a gift. And so for our celebration for our birthday, we wanted to give that to okay. as many folks as we could. Right. But we can't give it unless they come out. That's so. right, so everybody's got to come. It's yes. a free event. I mean, what more could you ask That's for? That's right. That's right. And, you know, if you've got kids, they could learn a lot by watching these artists. And old folks can, too. That's right. So it's just a lot of fun. We just encourage everybody to come and enjoy the creativity that it way. It could inspire some new artists, too. It works that way all the time. I was just at a thing this last weekend where there were lots of people there, and I had my work on display and some new thing that I'm doing called acrylic pours. And I don't know how many people said, well, how do you do that? They said, I've done pours, but how do you do it where it looks like a horse or whatever? So, you know, okay. all weekend I was kind of giving pointers for right. how to do art. How many artists are featured? Um, in this, probably okay. about 20. About 20, okay. And we've got 27 in the gallery. In the gallery. Okay. But not everybody will be able to be there that day. Right, it's a right. good, good way to meet artists. Now, the gallery on regular days is open when? Open 9 to 5, uh, Wednesday through Saturday, and on Tuesday if we have somebody to staff it. Okay. See, we have no paid staff. staff okay. right. We are totally volunteer. volunteer organization. So 9 to 5, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday every week. Yep, okay. yep. And then big day coming up this Saturday. And yep. you guys also, at times, offer classes, right? Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. okay. um, right now, we have a photography class that's coming up. And they're going to be doing uh, teaching traditional photography with a camera, but also how to maximize making photographs with your cell phone. Oh, wow. Okay. It should be interesting. Which It'll so. be great. You need yeah. to get out to Art in the yeah. Village in the Casey Jones Village 15th this anniversary. weekend. 9.30 to 4, just, right. it's a great place to be. If you get hungry, just walk on over to the Old Country Store. Yeah, exactly. Big day, big day at the Old Country <laughs> Store this coming Saturday. It's good well, to see you, Well, congratulations on your anniversary. anniversary. Well, so. thank, you thank you very much. Right. If I we, had confetti, I'd pop it. We come back. I, think, I, I, <laughs> I have been known to do that. I think we'll be talking about blood in this next segment. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Well, I see Melinda, so I'm sure yeah, we will. We'll find out as we continue. Six, Six in, in the, the city. city. I'm Dr. Keith H. Taylor, owner and CEO of the Mid-South Dental Implant and Oral Surgery Center. Our clinic is unique because it offers oral surgery suites, general dentistry suites, as well as a fully run operating room. e -plus Broadband has never let me down. The reps that actually gave me their personal phone numbers, so they definitely were compassionate. They knew that some of the technical terms they were using I couldn't understand, and they broke them down to me, and I thought that this went a long way. Thank you, e -plus Broadband. For the most reliable drinking water supply at the highest quality, reach for the tap. Our tap water is safe and continues to exceed all government requirements. For more information about our drinking water, visit www.jacksenergy.com slash J-E-A-C-C-R. Move over. It's the law. When approaching work vehicles or crews, move over to create a safety zone. It protects utility workers, law enforcement, firefighters, and emergency personnel. It's not an option. Slow down. It could save a life. Stay safe. Move over. For nine years, the READ team has helped over 2,200 second graders read better through coaching and friendships. Students have increased their word recognition by as much as 300%. Reading on grade level opens the door for Google searches, driver's licenses, and career opportunities. Invest one hour a week to give our second graders every chance to read on grade level. Go to thereadteam.org to sign up. The READ team, changing our community one word at a time. In partnership with JMCSS, Leaders Education Foundation, and United Way of West Tennessee. But you already knew that because you can read. Well, Linda Reed is with us, and, and Braylon Ellis is with, is with us, and they're with Lifeline Blood Services. So I assume we'll be talking about blood just a moment. We do want to add a note to Mary Spellings. Casey Jones Village is having their big fall festival fall as well, festival, so they'll have right. food trucks and everything else out there. So a lot of things going to be happening in, in the village this weekend. So. Yeah. 
time for the vein drain, I guess. It is. Aren't it's you? our highly anticipated um, annual vein drain. It's our Halloween-themed blood drive here in Jackson on Thursday the 24th. And for any of our Dyer County um, uh, donors and volunteers, that is Saturday um, on the 26th, on the Saturday 26th. the 26th. Okay. So you have two opportunities to get on out and donate and help us save lives. Okay. So what makes this so uh, anticipated for, for everybody? <laughs> well, we're all dressed up at Lifeline. Our donors costume. like to come dressed okay. up. We've okay. got uh, every donor who walks through the doors that day to give the gift of life gets a voucher to redeem at Chick-fil-A for a breakfast um, item. So that's yes. exciting to partner with Chick-fil-A, which we all love. And you can enter to win tickets to Camp Blood or and Zombie Trail uh, paintball okay. um, in the Humboldt area. Oh, wow. So um, it's just the energy is up. The um, the crowd really turns out. The spooks are out. So yeah, yeah, it just goes really well with giving blood. The the vein drain. It's just it's uh, we have we have a good turnout. Oh, yeah, you came up with that, but it's, it's been a real. Effective theme for y'all. It, it has a good. Been doing this how long? A now? good tra uh, tradition, right? Oh gosh, I wish I knew how long that we've it's been doing it, time. but long, I can't think of a, a time when in the past that someone has said, you know, we should have done the vein drain, and we didn't That's that right. year. My favorite commercials of Sheree <laughs> is her with as, <laughs> as the bride of Frank is now with it. We go hair, <laughs> right? Yeah. She yeah. always the, did great yeah, ones for the well, vein stay drain. Stay tuned. So. We have a good one that will be coming out in just a few days. And you did say that donors can actually dress in costume as well, right? They sure can. There costume costume contest? Do, right? There's not a costume contest, okay. but we will have a photo booth. Okay. And it's just fun to see, you know, everybody's see creativity what, yeah. and it just adds to the to the festive, you know, atmosphere that we have at the Vane Drain. But we're located in North Jackson at 183 Sterling Farms Drive. And if you've never donated before and you're a little bit anxious or you don't know what to expect, it's just a great atmosphere at the Vane Drain. So you will feel relaxed and it'll be an efficient, you know procedure in case you want to get back to work or back to what you were doing. It okay. takes about 30 to 45 minutes okay. from start to finish to donate blood. That's October the 24th. Brandon, what else do we need to know yeah. about this event? Here? So <laughs> we're having um, a haunted blood mobile this year. So you, oh. we invite the community to come tour. It'll be kid friendly. It's on October 30th from four to six. There'll be candy and um, a lot of spooky stuff. So we invite <laughs> the community to come out and to walk so through it'll the, be at the blood, blood center? center. It'll be at the blood okay. center. Yes. At our okay. Jackson center. Okay. okay. So, so what that's is that separate about? than the vein drain, yeah. yes. but it's also just a great opportunity to come on out. And if you've never um, donated blood before on a blood mobile, you can kind of see it in see a different what, light. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, so you won't be taking donations then. It'll just be the, the haunted. Right. The haunted it's kind of like our version of a trunk or treat. So yes. it's kid friendly, free to Safe all. Safe place to come and out. It's from four to six. Okay. So October 30th, yeah, four to six. Yes. Four to six that day. Mm -hmm. okay. In the parking lot. Y'all got plenty of space out there. We do. We do. We have a big space. Yes. Yeah, lots of it. land around us is for sale. We'd love some really good neighbors, too. Okay. All right. Well, there are a lot of things going that way now. Y'all are kind of out there by yeah. yourself for yeah. a while. But for a know, while. It's, it's really, really booming. Cool. Although the fresh grass... Um, scenery is just really nice too but um, our donors love our location and we still have people that are like I haven't been to your new location yet and I'm oh, thinking wow. well we've been over here for seven nope. plus years but, <laughs> yeah. and our Dyersburg Center's been going strong for about three years yeah so, I was going to ask how everything was yeah. going over in Dyersburg yes and we have broken ground for a new center in Paris really so that's new okay. news to share with you guys so 2025 will be a, a big year for us as we get a new center up and running in Paris right beside the hospital okay, okay. yeah Oh, yeah, it'd be convenient right there by the so hospital. So you're providing blood products now for how many medical facilities? Oh, goodness. 21 counties and 17 hospitals. hospitals okay. And yes. air evacs? Yes. Right? So many air evacs. That number slips my mind at the moment, but so many. I think it's at least around 17. <laughs> um, but we have grown tremendously over the past year because our air evacs um, not only are in West Tennessee, but they're in the Arkansas area as well. Okay. Um, and in Corinth. So oh, wow. um, we are just growing. But, you know, we want to meet the needs of our patients here in West Tennessee first foremost and so that's our top priority and we need about 26,000 units of blood and blood products annually to meet those orders so we're always looking for new donors and i um, excited to hype up our existing blood drives like the vein drain to our okay. donors and recruit new donors too to come on out well you can go to lifelineblood 
org? That's mm -hmm. right. Okay. I couldn't remember yeah. it was org. <laughs> LifelineBloodServe.org. <laughs> Just get and find it. That's Q right. Find out lots of information. Uh, the vein drain is coming up October the 24th. That is a Thursday. Is that right? Thursday. Thursday. October it's a Thursday. 24th. Nine to six. Nine to six. And then the uh, Bloodmobile will be open, decorated, and open for their Trunk or treat, kind of thing. Yes. Yeah. On October the 30th, They're 4 to 6. Good to see you. Good to see you, <laughs> We'll be talking to her a little bit later in this program, but That's we are right. pleased with Moats Jones and Company. We welcome Sherry, Sherry Fairley. Fairley. Sherry? Don't talk about the weather. About clothes. Don't talk about misfortunes. Don't talk about foes. Don't talk about the famous. Don't talk about the wins. Don't talk about money. Let's talk about him. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Let's talk about him. Let's talk about him. Let's talk about him. Let's talk about him. Don't talk about bad news. I just want to hear the good. He's been so faithful, like I knew he would. I don't understand it. People feeling blue. Come on, get happy. Jesus died for you. Jesus, oh, Jesus. Jesus, oh, Jesus. Let's talk about him. Let's talk about him. Let's talk about him. Let's talk about him. Don't talk about riches or poverty. My God is more money than the eye can see. Don't talk about sickness and don't talk about death. Don't talk about gossip, no matter what they say. Jesus, oh, Jesus, Jesus, oh, 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 Jesus, let's talk about him, let's talk about him, let's talk about him, let's talk about him, let's talk about Jesus and his fortitude. Let's talk about an army that's praying through. Let's talk about his healing he gave to you. Remember Jesus, he's praying for you. Jesus, oh Jesus. Let's talk about him. Let's talk about him. Let's talk about him. Let's talk about him. Donating blood is safe, easy, and in less than an hour, you can save up to three lives. If you've donated with us before, thank you. We can't wait to see you again. If you've never donated before, now is the time. Give blood at Lifeline Blood Services today. Every three years, the American Public Power Association recognizes public power companies that demonstrate proficiency and reliability, workforce development, safety, and system improvements. The recognition RP3. The highest level RP3 is the Diamond RP3. In 2023, JA's Electric Division received the Diamond RP3 Award for the eighth consecutive time. This never happened before, but it's JEA today. Every two seconds, someone in the U.S. needs blood. Lifeline Blood Services provides blood to 17 hospitals 
and 12 AirVac services in 20 counties. To make your donation, you can come to one of our two locations today. I don't remember how it started. Not today. Oh our back and forth. It always came back. Dad! You probably don't remember what you told me. That was perfect. But I heard every word. We're going to talk about downtown. We are. And yeah, we were you know to. what that means. But Beth Ann said we're going to talk about downtown. <laughs> Beth Ann is here. here. <laughs> yeah, so, so Beth Ann Simpson is with us. How are you doing? Good. How are y'all? We're See, good. Y'all can't we're be good. about downtown without me being here to guide the conversation. That's here. right. To make sure we get it right. <laughs> get it right. So what are we going to start downtown? Food truck Friday? <laughs> That's what's next. Okay. Um, next Friday, October 25th. We kind of got windy this last one. Well, we ended up moving that rain one yeah. in September. Yeah. And so yeah. we added yeah. one in November. Yeah. So we extended the program. Okay, very, uh, okay. Right, very good. Right. Yes. So, so this so is coming up. Coming the up. next one then is going to be Friday. October 25th. October 25th. Next Friday, we've got Hunter Cross for live music. Right. And then we've got six food trucks um, that I think people will be excited about. Um, Jamaican African, oh. grilled cheeses, burgers. So all they will set up range. where? They'll set up on the road on Lafayette, okay. um, in between the farmer's market and the local. Um Right across, yeah, from the local and Starbucks, right, right there. So we'll close down the road, have our food trucks, we have live music, some games. The weather, hopefully, yeah. ends it'll up be being good. perfect. Maybe it'll be a day like today. Maybe it will. Be nice. Um, and then we added one November 15th. We okay. didn't want to get too late into November, into the holidays, so okay. our last one will be November, November 15th. November 15th. Right. Yes. All right. That'll so then fun. now, after Food Truck Friday then comes. Then we have a um, our annual Halloween at the market. That's a collaboration between... Um, Henry Turley Company, Jackson Walk, um, Parks and Rec, and Downtown Development. And um, it will be the Tuesday before Halloween. So it's the 29th. 29th, okay. From 6 to 8 p.m. at the market, Farmer's Market. Um, and so you'll have your, last year, like 2,500 people came out in the middle, Whoa. in the rain. Oh, my Stood goodness. Stood in the rain um, just to get Is candy. That right, okay. Um, and so come on back, and we hope the weather's better this yeah. time. But... We'll still have the actual trunk or treat under the shed. So it's under the shed. Okay. They'll have 20 plus vendors giving out candy. Um, but then we also have a DJ, DJ Vaughn's joining us. We have food trucks. We have some games and activities out in the Anderson Park area. So we're hoping people will stick around and hang out a little longer now that it, in hopes that it's not pouring Boy, down yeah. the rain. That's yeah. right. That's exactly yes. right. Yes. And so wear your costumes and come out to Halloween at the market. At what time? 6 to 8. 6 to 8. 6 to okay. 8 p.m. It's a Tuesday night. Um, before Halloween. Before so, Halloween. Uh, we can get all kinds of candy before Halloween. Yeah. I mean, with There's always so many on. events. I, I almost have to pick between yeah. <laughs> where my kids are going to get candy because they're so, overloaded. So you had 2,500 people last year and the weather was not as cooperative. I know. So, so I'm, a little, yeah, I'm a little oh, yeah. nervous. <laughs> I hope they have a lot of candy. <laughs> yes, they do. They're prepared. And, okay. okay. We okay. appreciate all our vendors. They come prepared for the for the masses. So. And then we're still doing yoga. We're right? still doing yoga in the park. Um, we have a full schedule for October because the weather's great yes. usually. Perfect. Um, so you can find that schedule on the Downtown Jackson TN website or on our social media. But we have a calendar just for yoga um and they're either lift instructors or uh the yoga center of jackson instructors um our next one actually is this saturday at 8 a.m at the amp, at the amp. um but we have them on everything from Monday evenings to Saturday mornings, so you can hopefully find something that works for your schedule. In different areas around That's downtown, right. not just always at the AMP, No, they're right? at the AMP. They've been at the local green space and then at the Jackson Station, the old train depot, yeah. in that green area. So it's to activate green space, give people free access to exercise um, and wellness. So um, come out. We'll still be doing yoga in the park in the upcoming year, thanks to okay. Love Your Block. Nice. Okay. Great yes. to keep it uh, too extended. That's, That's right. Great. And then we um, get into uh, a November? Clean, yeah, into November. I want people to know that November 9th, it's a Saturday, um, 10 to 12, we're going to do a downtown cleanup day, and we're asking for volunteers. If you have a, your student and need volunteer hours, if you just want to get involved and help 
Clean Up Downtown. Um, that's a partnership between Love Your Block, Downtown, Henry Turley again, and Parks and Rec. Um, we'll have all the supplies you need. We're going to have different groups at different areas of downtown. Um, picking up trash, cleaning windows, uh, um, all those things. November yeah, no, the 9th. November 9th, and you can sign up on our website. So oh, okay. if you so go to Downtown Jackson TN, we have a way to, it says support, okay. and you can um, sign up to be a volunteer. Okay, yeah. and if you are going to be a volunteer, it is important that you sign up, right? It, it's helpful for us to know for supplies. Right. Um, okay. And to kind of gauge how much help we're going to okay. have. So we would encourage you to sign up we for We've got a lot of new businesses. We do. Yeah, we do. We do. We, we just had a grand opening Saturday for Little Love's Gym, okay. which is this little kids' activity gym, which oh, we're excited right. to have downtown. Nice. We're talking about so like you haven't been downtown. Yes. Lady, haven't been downtown. That's right. So Come on downtown. downtown. It's good to see you, Bethany. Thank Thanks, you. Bethany. Thank you. We're going back to the main stage. Once again, we welcome back Sherry Fairley. <laughs> I feel wonderful because I'm free. I feel wonderful because I'm free. Jesus died on the cross for you and me. I feel wonderful because I'm free. And I feel wonderful because I'm saved. I feel wonderful. Because I'm saved, Jesus conquered death, hell, and the grave. I feel wonderful because I'm saved, and I feel wonderful because I'm healed. I feel wonderful because I'm healed. This body, Satan, cannot kill. I feel wonderful because I'm loved. I feel wonderful because I'm loved. The Holy Ghost can from above. I feel wonderful because I'm loved. I feel wonderful because I'm free. I feel wonderful because I'm free. Jesus died on the cross for you and me. And I feel wonderful because I'm free. Want to receive account information via text? When you enroll in JA Alerts, you can. Text to get a bill bounce, due date, set a payment extension, receive an outage notification, reply to report an electric outage. Text JOIN, J-O-I-N, text JOIN to 53248, 53248. Cell phone number must be current and attached to your JA account. Visit jacksenergy.com slash text alert for more information. At Southern Family Dentistry, we offer dental treatment for your entire family. We have the latest 3D digital x-ray system. We offer implants, veneers, teeth whitening, and all the other normal services you receive at the dental office. We have two offices, one in Milan and one in Jackson, 
and e broadband telephone services allows us to connect both of those offices. It doesn't matter which office the patient calls, we have the ability to speak to that patient at either location. Nathan Gwynn is with us. He's relatively new to the city. He's principal at St. Mary's School. You've been here how long now, Nathan? This is my second year at St. Mary's. Yes, sir. Mary's. And so many people may be seeing and meeting Nathan for the, for the first time. And uh, for the special fundraiser that comes up during the month of October, and it's Oktoberfest, and nobody does any better. That's right. Right. And, uh, and so the folks at St. Mary's have always done a great event. It's coming up this week. Yes, sir, on Saturday. So Saturday, Saturday the 19th. 5 to 9, yes, sir. It's going to be where? It'll be at Nelson's Barn, so it's okay, you know, 95 Nelson. Pickering. Again. So it's right in the middle of you know, Cherry Hill right. subdivision up there in North Jackson, uh, Ted Nelson's property. It's a beautiful property. So we're really excited. You know, Typically, it's been a part of kind of a true Oktoberfest, more of a, like a beer festival. Right. So this year, instead, we've pivoted more to a family event. So it's a fall right. festival meets kind of a beer festival. Um, we're really excited. We're going to have hot air balloon rides, so tethered hot air balloon rides out there. We'll have a kids' movie starting at oh, 7 wow. o'clock. Okay. So a kids' movie at 7 o'clock, big 20-foot screen. Wow. Uh, bouncy houses, um, fall so festival games. So it starts at 5. 5. Yes, sir. So the, till 9 or till 9, yes. Okay. So the hotter balloon will fly from 5 to 7. Um, but then we also have TVs for the football games, so you can come out and watch the end of the UT game, you know, watch them beat Bama. Oh, and then wait a um, now. you can watch the Texas-Georgia game out there, too. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> and you have different um, ticket prices, right, based yeah, on? Absolutely. Based on the, the so everything, if it's like audience. a fall festival, right? So everything has little ticket prices right. for kids, or you can do a VIP for the kids, twenty five dollars, and then don't worry about turn tickets. Them loose. They'll yeah. bracelet on them. Yeah, exactly. Turn them loose. Uh, <laughs> there'll be hay rides, all kinds of things for kids. So uh, cornhole tournament. There's a lot of different activities happening, and so you can you can like nickel and dime it, buy yourself some tickets, and kind of do what you want. Well, like I said, there's a fifty dollar adult VIP, twenty five kid v VIP. Uh, the adult VIP you get the beer sampling, you get a glass, um, actual glass stein, a koozie, and you get fifteen dollars of free food. What okay. if you're a non-drinker? Can you still Absolutely. get Absolutely. Come on out. We'll have a sahi food out there. We'll have drinks kitchen. Uh, we'll have wings being cooked out there. We'll have all kinds of, again, events, all kinds of stuff out there for you. Awesome. Yeah, it's going to be great. Football, uh, So free tell games. us how this money is utilized. So it all goes to St. Mary's School. So, okay. you know, a lot of people think, you know, I'm a, I was a public school person my whole life. My right. mom's a public school teacher. I was a public school teacher and administrator. You know, and you're in public school, you think that private schools are just loaded, like we have so, so much money, and that's not the case. So actually, our tuition does not cover all of our expenses. We need fundraisers to stay alive. Okay. I love the school we have. We have the happiest kids in Jackson. There's no doubt in my mind. Um, I've been to a lot of schools. And so we need fundraisers to keep us doing the things we do best, which is raising kids and forming kids. So. And St. Mary's School is what grades? K through 8. Actually, preschool through 8. So we do two-year-olds through 8th grade. Two-year-olds through eighth grade. Great. And what's your attendance there? What's your rec what's We have about 225 kids right oh, now. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. It's been around for a very long time. St. Mary's has had a school here for a long time. Since 1878, yes, okay. sir. It's the longest continuously running parochial school in Tennessee. Tennessee, okay. Yep. I don't think a lot of people know that either. I don't think they do either. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're very special, actually. And in the Catholic um, faith, we're, we have, we're Dominican schools. So we have Dominican right. sisters. We've right. had them there since 1900, believe it or yeah. not. Wow. So. Yeah. Well, you know, after the uh, after the Civil War, uh, freed populace needed education. A lot there were a lot of efforts. Some of the sisters came early, absolutely, to, to teach uh, children how to read and whatever to, to acclimate to this this new place in, in society. So it's got a long history. Yeah, here. I mean, Catholic schools in general have a history of taking yeah. care of anybody and everybody. And right. so that's one of the beautiful things about our tradition is, right. is you know, we were, before everything else started, really before public school systems yeah. existed, we mm -hmm. did, and we were doing the same things we do now. So yeah. Well, it's a long, great uh, great history here uh, in, in Jackson because, uh, as you said, St. Mary's here since 18th And there was a St. Joseph's school prior to that or yeah, something? I think right. it was actually after that. I don't after know the total, total history of St. Joseph's. But, yes, yeah, so yeah. 17, 19, 1878 for us, and then, of course, you know, yeah, so still here. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> been a, it's been a real, real presence in Jackson, Tennessee. If uh, people want more information school. about St. Mary's, where can they get that? Yeah, so if you want the school, you can go to the St. Mary's website. It's nice and easy to find. Um, and then if you want the event, you can go to our Facebook page. You can go to our Facebook event. You can go to stmarysevents.givesmart.com for okay. anything else. Lots of so. places to do. It's yes, Oktoberfest is right around the corner, yeah. October the 19th, it's, right yeah, here Saturday. in Saturday. Right here this Saturday. Saturday. From 5 it, to 9. It, it, Ted Nelson, like I said, they've had a lot of social events out there through the years, so a lot of people are familiar with that. So That's right. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place out well, How's this working out for you? It's a big change. Yeah, it is Jackson, a little bit. Little bit yeah, yeah, it is. But <laughs> the kids are good. I have four kids of my own. They're all there with me every day. Okay. I take them to school with me. Sometimes I take them home, depending on the day. But it's, it's amazing. It's great to see my own kids in the hallways. And again, we have... Uh, again, the happiest kids I've ever seen. I've worked in seven schools, three states. I've been in education my entire life, and I've never seen a group of kids 
um, as amazing and beautiful as what we have. Nice. So we'll find out about St. Mary's, and, right. and you can support this effort with the Oktoberfest coming up this Saturday at the Nelsons from 5 until 9. 5 till 9. And we will, we'll see you then. It's good to have you with us. It it's is. great it's to be nice here. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. Margaret Taylor, we're going to do a ghost walk next. That's right. Ghost from walk coming Oktoberfest up this month. Oktoberfest to a ghost walk. Here we go with this Six, six in the, the City. city. Want to receive account information via text? When you enroll in JA Alerts, you can. Text to get a bill bounce, due date, set a payment extension, receive an outage notification, reply to report an electric outage. Text JOIN, J-O-I-N, text JOIN to 53248-53248. Cell phone number must be current and attached to your JA account. Visit jacksenergy.com slash text alert for more information. At Southern Family Dentistry, we offer dental treatment for your entire family. We have the latest 3D digital x-ray system. We offer implants, veneers, teeth whitening, and all the other normal services you receive at the dental office. We have two offices, one in Milan and one in Jackson, and e broadband telephone services allows us to connect both of those offices. It doesn't matter which office the patient calls, we have the ability to speak to that patient at either location. Welcome back to Six in the City. Margaret Taylor has joined us. She is president of Jackson Area Business of Professional Women. That's right. And they have a ghost walk coming up the 25th, which will be a Friday night, Friday week. Yes. Starts at what time? Starts at 5 o'clock. It at, starts at Riverside at Cemetery. At Riverside Cemetery. We're a better of place to start. Places. You know, that's where the ghosts are. <laughs> you so know, the start. founders of Jackson are buried here. <laughs> that's so, right. So it's, it's, a, it's a walk in history is what it is. It is. Most that's, it's an educational event is what it really is. It's entertainment, but we will have ghosts at the uh, Riverside Cemetery. So that's where it will actually start. And uh, then after that, we'll, we move over to First United Methodist Church, Clayton okay. Hall, for dinner. Okay. Uh, Baker Brothers doing our dinner for us, so it'll be great. And we'll have ghosts there. There will be ghosts at every table pretty okay. much sitting okay. with our guests. Okay. And then we have about four guests that will tell their story uh, because these are all Jacksonians that we're talking about. You know, oh, people that okay. lived and died. The ghosts died. are the Jacksonians. Yeah. They, so it's the yeah, tour and, and the ghosts. It's the tour and dinner. It is. Okay. But you can choose to just do the tour. And that's because how much? after that's thirty dollars. Okay. Right. But if you do the whole thing with dinner, it's, it's fifty five. Okay. Uh, but after dinner, then we do the downtown tour. Oh, okay. And so the downtown tour has four yeah. stops, and um, uh, we have this year we're adding a new one, and uh, that is Denise LaSalle. Okay. Somebody will be uh, Denise. dressed Denise. as her okay. and uh, telling her story and everything, and I think that's just wonderful, you know. So it is, it is a living history. In a sense. It is. It's, a, it's an educational yeah. event. There's no spookiness or anything like that. It's not a scary event. It's Nobody's going to jump out at you at the, where you <laughs> make your stops. <laughs> it's all educational, so it's a family-friendly event as what it amounts to. And we to. can get tickets how? Uh, Eventbrite. 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 Okay. Go to okay. Eventbrite and just uh, search for uh, Ghost, Ghost Tour. Ghost Walking. Uh-huh. And uh, tour. get there. And, and it's an important event for us because uh, we give scholarships in the spring uh, to atypical students, women that are going back to school or maybe just struggling in school. Mm -hmm. But most of the time it's women that have either not been able to go to college or uh, attend TCAT or whatever, and now they've decided they want to get an education to better their lives and the lives of their family. Yeah. And so we give scholarships to help support them doing that. Uh, so that's what this money goes Those for. Mm -hmm. Scholarship. How many characters are going to be portrayed? It'll be uh, about 18. Okay. Oh, wow. 18 characters, something like that okay. will be will be there. So it's a lot of fun. Yeah. I mean, you learn stuff, you know. Oh, yeah. Last year, we had this young 10-year-old, 
And I was just like, whoa, I don't want to hear his story. But, right. but you know, it was about an illness that mm-hmm. had not been cured way right. back in the right. day. And he was able to talk about that and how, you know, there was nothing that could be done, done. for him, yeah. you know. Yeah. And I can't remember if it was smallpox or something like that, but it was something that, mm-hmm. that you know, was tragic for his, for his life and everything. They got some work down at the library, Jack Wood and him uh, in the Tennessee room. There was a survey, I think, in the 1920s of Jackson that caused the death, still accidents, people getting kicked by horses or whatever, uh-huh. you know, that, that mm-hmm. kind of thing. And then, yeah, the communicable diseases. Yes. And dysentery and all these different all things. All that, that stuff, that, yeah. That we don't think you think about it. We take, yeah. Totally and I, take and it Riverside is such an old cemetery. Yes, There's yeah. no telling, you know, what, it, it, yeah. what they will come the out with. In, it is. I think it is. Yeah. I think it is. I think the, the original burial sites were f- further out west, but it was our first real cemetery. Yeah, true okay. cemetery, yeah. okay. Right. Sure was But yeah. it's fun. I mean, they, you know, the faces are all made up. Uh, they have the, the period costumes yeah. on and all of that. And, uh, you know, the, the people that come to dinner, I mean, the people at the cemetery love hearing the stories. Mm-hmm. And then when they come to dinner and they have a ghost that's actually sitting with them at the table, uh, they, it, and I get pictures of everything. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's Those just will be posted on Facebook, yeah, I guess. They will be. They will be, for sure. Looking for Margaret Taylor on Facebook. <laughs> that's right. It's the 25th. You go to Eventbrite. Event it, starts at, it starts at Riverside Cemetery at, at five. five. At Ghost five o'clock. A tour. And that, and if you want to just do the tour itself, you, you're welcome to do that. But come have dinner with us because okay. it'll be a great dinner. You will hear from more ghosts there, and so it's just a, a, ni- a, a nice night event, you know, fall event and everything, yeah. uh, and it's very family friendly. So. And it benefits a great cause. It so. does absolutely. Always good to see you. Yes, it's good always to have great you, to be good here. I appreciate, appreciate you guys. Much. We're going to talk about money next. That's right. Yeah. As we and continue. how to earn it, right? Yeah, I guess. We'll find out together <laughs> on it. this Six, Six in, in the, the City. city. <laughs> oh, Sherry is out here? Yes. We have music. We, we have we music. Were, we were getting ahead of ourselves. We are getting ahead of ourselves. Yeah, we're we're, back we're, to we're going to talk barely. to Sherry in the next segment. That's right. We're going back to the main stage, and once again, we'll be talking to her in just a minute. This is Sherry Fairley. grass you gave blue blue is the sky you made red red is the blood you shed on calvary you died for me you died to save us from our sins love love is the gift you gave Joy, joy, you came to save. Peace, peace with us remains on Calvary. You died for me. You died to save us from our sins. Shed your blood for me. You gave your life for me. Green, green is the grass you gave. Blue, blue is the sky you made. Red, red is the blood you shed on Calvary. You died for me. You died to save us from our sins. Love, love is the gift you gave. Joy, joy, you came to save. Peace, peace with us remains because Calvary, you died for me, you died to save us from our sins. Your peace with us remains. you
Hi, I'm here to ask the people of Jackson to be a part of a groundbreaking program, Four Minute City. Every minute you don't get help after a sudden cardiac arrest, your chance of survival decreases by 10%. That's why Friends of Heart and the Jackson Fire Department have created a care team. A group of everyday citizens trained, equipped, and ready to save lives in our community. Please call this number or visit our website. Together, we can save lives. Tired of internet that leaves you waiting and monitoring your usage with extra fees? Switch to E-Plus Broadband from the Jackson Energy Authority for fiber optic internet with the fastest speeds to keep everyone connected. Enjoy being online as much as you want without worrying about extra fees or data usage limits. Perfect for when you need to download and upload large files, stream videos, or use your favorite video conferencing app. E-Plus Broadband, fastest internet, no data caps, no slowdowns, no worries. So, I'm kind of new here, but I've noticed a trend. My human does this funny thing where she goes around and gets all my toys, and then she hides them in that basket by the door. You know, but it's always the same basket, and it's always in the, in the same place. And then she acts so surprised when I find them, but, you know, she's putting them in the same basket. Again. It's like, hello? That's where you put it last time. You were the worst at hide-and-go-seek. Well, we're going to talk about money and music here, if we, get this, right. if we get this done right. And with us, Frank and Sherry Fairley are with us, and they're here representing the Fairley Wealth Management Group. Of course, you've been hearing from Sherry, That's so right. we'll, we'll do a double-sided conversation here. But you've been in financial planning and management for a long time. For about 11 years. Okay. Oh, wow. All yeah. right, so you describe this as faith-based work. In what sense? In, in the sense that we, we try to look at every situation that they might encounter. It may be for uh, their legal issues as far as setting up an estate, as far as uh, how they how they set up their money, we don't use the word budget. We use a spending plan because we all get to choose how we want to spend our money. Right. Right. And I tell my clients all the time, all the time, if you're not uh, Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk, yeah. you can't have everything that's out there. <laughs> that's right. You got to pick what you want to spend your money on. That's right. But you get ultimately you get, you, get to make right. that choice. Right. Right. Yeah. And sometimes and so we, those choices aren't, aren't so good. Well, <laughs> something kind of and, and, unless they have you, right? That you could direct them in the right way. Well, when they go through the spending plan, it really analyzes where they're spending their money and what their priorities are. And we're trying to line up where their priorities are with where the money's going. I got you. And so that always helps people. Wow. So part of this is step back and take a look at your priorities. Then. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, of course, uh, we so, work with the accountants, too, on So when did you issues. decide to step out on your own then? Uh, decided to do that uh, six years ago. Okay. And uh, we, we decided that we'd have a better situation as far as being independent. That way, everything that's legitimate out there, we can offer. Uh, we're not in a cookie cutter kind of situation. Mm -hmm. It allows us to get into a lot of different things. Some people like to get into precious metals. Some people like to get into oil and gas. Some people alternatives, as well as stocks, bonds, mutual funds, all the different things that we do. Okay. Yeah. So you try to guide people. You work with a certain type of clientele, as far as younger, or older, or whatever. Just anybody who wants to get serious about this. Anybody who's serious. That's okay. that's that's the good thing. I don't want somebody who's not engaged. I want somebody who's interested in actually not only saving, but investing. investing and, yeah. and if they're willing to invest, I don't care if they start with nothing, uh, really. And there's a lot of advisors that don't do that anymore. But we have- So you uh, wouldn't take a brand new client that says, hey, I'm, yeah. I just need help. Absolutely. This gets moving. Absolutely. Okay. But they gotta be willing to do, right. do the work. Right, yeah. so, so if somebody comes to you and says, hey, I've got a small amount of money, say it's $5,000, I don't wanna spend it, I wanna invest it, how can you help me? Yeah. Yeah, and we'll start right there where they are. There's certain accounts you have to have certain minimums and that kind of right. thing. Sometimes we've got to work up to those. Yeah, mine started about twenty-five dollars a week. <laughs> <laughs> if I put back a hundred a month. I'm ahead of the game, right? Right, that's yeah. exactly yeah. right. Yeah. So, so at all at all levels. Well, let's talk about your work because we appreciate you being with us. Yeah, thanks we, for we haven't heard jazz Christian music right. or Christian jazz music, or whatever, until until I think now. it's the first on the show too. Yeah, right. Yeah. To have our, our little jazzy. So Jesus music. What's, your, what's your background in, Sherry? Um, well, I grew up singing Southern Gospel. Okay. Uh, I traveled with a theater group and sang for uh, about two and a half years after I got out of, of school. And then um, I've just been doing praise and worship and uh, writing songs just a little bit at a time. I started back 
I hate to tell you when I started, but it, it is several years back. I started writing some songs, and I never, I really didn't know what I was going to do with them. And I, I just kept having this feeling that someday I was going to get to do something with those songs. And then we met Jamin and Sherry of Jones Motes and Company. Mm -hmm. And uh, they started uh, helping our company with some uh, marketing, with marketing, marketing and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And so then I was like, I kept hearing about music, you know, how they did music. And I thought, maybe, maybe this is the time. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is the time I get to record all these all right. songs God's given me. Okay. So, and so you've had these I songs you for did. a long time. So you've, Not you've, all of them. Okay. Some of them are brand new. Brand new. Some are brand so new. you have so completed you this album? Have you completed this album or completed mm -hmm. the recording? Last, last Friday we finished recording. Now they're putting it all together. So yeah. you look putting for it the bow on it, right? You look for it to be released. In November. In November. In November. Okay. All right, all right. Thank you. Well, that's exciting. Well, that, that, yeah, so long how time people, coming, How do people right? follow you, Sherry, as far as the music? Well, how do people follow me? <laughs> um, well, I'm going to uh, set up okay. something so on, then online. Set up There'll be something. Yeah. Just so look for Sherry Fairley. Sherry um, Fairley. And it's could be S -H -E -R -R -I -Y. Sherry McNeil. I, 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 S -H -E -R -I the only right way to spell it. <laughs> <laughs> right, so and what about the wealth management group? How do people follow you? Uh, all right. the, uh, they can go to fairlywealthmanagementgroup.com. Okay. Fairlywealthmanagement.com is where we are. We're a Fairly Wealth Management Group on uh, Facebook. Okay. If somebody wants to follow us there. Um, so we've got all sorts of different things that we're working on there. Okay. And we're always putting out information about how to set up your estate and what kind of tax situations, okay. all those different things that people have questions about. So it's a nice way to just, um, I guess, uh, stalk us on Facebook and learn a lot learn of things. Lot. Yeah. 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 Okay. Right. Well, thanks so much for being here. Yeah. We appreciate it. The and thank you for entertaining us yeah, today. And we'll close out the show. Fairly okay. Wealth Management Group. Frank, good to meet you. Yes. Cheers. Good Very to have you nice. with us. We'll be right back with our show. We'll wrap up this show That's as we right. continue Six, Six in, in the, the City. city. That's my neighbor, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, John. Joe's about to make a big mistake. Hey, Joe, think it might be a good idea to call 811 to have the utilities marked before you start digging? I'm not digging very deep. It's no big deal. <laughs> no big deal. Dad, the TV's out. Internet, too. Remember, safe digging always starts with a free call to 811. Oh, what a knucklehead. Do you love sports? Then you should know about STEM. Because maximizing nutrition, analyzing peak muscle performance, calculating the perfect shot, and more are all made possible by science, technology, engineering, and math. In fact, there are more careers than ever in sports science. So if you have a passion for sports, then think about getting involved in STEM and improve everyone's game on and off the field. Get inspired at SheCanSTEM.com. The family's visit to the forest inspired a beautiful question. Mother, mother, am I a tree? You tell me to stand tall. You tell me to stay rooted. I think I am a tree. My child, my child, of course you are. But what kind of tree will you be? The kind to hug or the kind to climb? Doesn't matter what you choose, so long as you choose to be a tree that's kind. Make the forest part of your story at a park near you. Find one at discovertheforest.org. Well, it's one of the uh, largest tourism events in this city, and that's the Lane Homecoming that's weekend. Right. And, of course, activities started last weekend. Not and just the, parade, but it's a yeah, whole all, all weekend. Yeah, weekend of gathering people all over this country, well, all over the planet, come that's back right. for Lane, Lane Homecoming. And the parade will be Saturday morning. It will be carried live here at E Plus TV 6, and it'll be repeated as well. And then uh, we're carrying Lane football, not live, but on a replay basis. And so we have uh, Lane and Tuskegee uh, airing on TV 6 this week. And High we'll school football? Care. And, of course, yes, this week, south side and north side. And if you know Jackson, Tennessee, or, well, you can imagine. That's right. When you have two, two schools that were county schools at one time, one north, one south, That's no right. love lost between those two. <laughs> and it, it should be a great, exciting football game. And, uh, and so we uh, look forward to carrying that. That's coming up Friday night live this Friday. Saturday out at Century Farm Winery, they're having a sipping shop where you can taste some of their wines okay. and actually shop from some of the vendors that are out there. That's Saturday the 19th that's going on. And then also they have 
on the 19th. They have Midnight at the Masquerade. It's a murder mystery. So it should be an interesting night there at Century, Century Farm, Farm Winery. So, And then October the 25th is the breast cancer screenings at Kirkland Cancer That's Center. That's right. So schedule an appointment for that. Be sure to schedule your appointment. Oh, and tomorrow is the uh, Greater Jackson Chambers Women in Business featuring Lisa Smart. So if you haven't got your tickets, I, I don't know if there's still tickets available, but you might okay. want to call Chamber Chamber. the chamber and find out because that's, that's going to be an interesting conversation with her. So All right. lots, of, lots of things going on. And the symphony had the sellout for their Disney concert. That's right, Hocus Saturday. Pocus. Hocus Pocus. You, was, did you go? I went. Yeah, okay. Pretty stunning yeah. performance. I bet I it was pretty, pretty amazing. Oh, it was. It was. It was amazing. The orchestra was. I mean, on mm. target. I mean, it was. It was. Well, a great night. I filled up on Congolese food mm -hmm. at the uh, yeah. Taste of uh, Congo. Oh, is that Mulata's Taste of Congo? See, I was, I was going to. We had symphony tickets. Yes. So I, I tell Mulata every year that I'm going to be at that event. She's been doing it 12 years. I've never I, been. <laughs> So I'm glad you, should, you went. You should go. Yeah. It's, it's wonderful food. There's some ball game coming up Saturday. I don't know. You know, I something about orange and bread. Or I, don't, I don't know. Crimson. We'll, we'll, whatever. We'll see. Pam's going to be out of town this weekend, so it'll be a lot more peaceful at our house. Well, maybe I should come over yeah. and turn it to the Tennessee game so you can <laughs> see some football. We're going to close out. We appreciate you being with us. Sherry, it's been very good to meet you. Sherry Fairley is going to close us out. And we'll see you next week for more Six, Six in, in the, the City. city. <laughs> Got an angel on the left, an angel on the right, an angel in the front, and an angel in the back. You are protected. You are protected. You don't have to be afraid. God is protecting you. God has not given you a spirit of fear, but that of love, power, and a sound mind, too. You are protected. You are protected. You don't have to be afraid. God is protecting you. You are protected. You are protected. Church, you are protected. You are protected. You don't have to be afraid. God is protecting you. Don't be afraid. Got an angel on the left, an angel on the right, an angel in the front, and an angel in the back. You are protected. You are protected. You don't have to be afraid. God is protecting you. Because God has not given you a spirit of fear, but that of love, power, and a sound mind, too. You are protected. You are protected. You don't have to be afraid, God is protecting you. You are Angel on the left. You are Angel on the right. Angel in the front. Angel in the back. You don't have to be afraid, God is protecting you. Don't be afraid. You are Angel on the left. Angel on the right, angel in the front, an angel in the back. You don't have to be afraid, God is protecting you.